Hi, in this video, I'm going to build a sand pit or sandbox, you might call it if you're in the US, for my kids. The idea is that it's going to be a very simple and basic build that can be done with pretty rudimentary tools. So I'm not going to be doing any fancy joints or anything too clever like mitres on it. It's basically just going to use butt joints. Uh, the tools that you'll need to use will be a drill, a saw, it can be a hand saw, it can be an electric saw. I'm just going to use a, an electric saw for time. I'm going to use some deck boards that I had left over from building our deck and also some newel posts that were left over from the build. And for the underside and the areas where the kids aren't going to be touching the wood, I'm going to use some pallet wood because I got it for free. Uh, pallet wood can be quite nasty in terms of splinters and things like that so if you are going to have it in areas where people are going to be touching it you're going to need to give it quite a decent sanding down. I'm going to put some plans together for people to download for free. I'm going to look to make it quite a comprehensive tutorial in terms of what I've done and how I'm going to do it so hopefully people with very limited woodworking skills will be able to pick it up. <laughs> It's a special pilot hole bit because it's got a countersink for the screw head but you could just use any old drill bit and basically you just drill in and it countersinks a hole ready for the screw to go in.
that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I quite enjoyed it, probably uh, with the exception of the painting. I hate painting stuff. The kids are thoroughly enjoying the sand pit. They don't seem to be able to keep sand in there though and it's all over the garden, so that's great fun. You'll see I've added uh, a couple of safety features. I'll put some pictures up now. It's some clips and some lashing eyes, kind of that you use on boats, they're stainless steel. It's just to make it so that the kids can't open the sand pit when I'm not there and also so that they can't close uh, the folding parts on their fingers. I don't want any trapped fingers. Build went largely according to plan. There was one slight problem in that one of the bits of deck board seemed to have bowed after I painted it um, and it's now sitting proud slightly of the frame. I'm hoping in time it'll, uh, it'll flatten out. I did manage to flatten it out a little bit by putting a load of bags of sand on it before the install, but that, that did make the install a little bit trickier. I'll be adding free plans to this video, so make the most of those. If you do use the plans and you find them useful, feel free to make a donation to the charity I'm raising money for. I'm going to make the plans so that it doesn't really matter what size timber you're using, you can adapt them uh, to make suit best for you. You might want a slightly larger sandpit, you might want a slightly small one. In terms of cost, the main cost I think and in terms of outlay that I had was for the weed membrane because I didn't have enough from the leftover project and I bought the clips and the hinges. If you're not a subscriber already, feel free to subscribe. But otherwise, I hope I'll see you again soon.